Are you excited for today's video? Are you going to get those squirrels? Are you going to get those turkeys? Or maybe even the deer out there? Welcome back to the channel, Lake Lifers. I got Miss B with me here today. She's pretty pumped right now because there is a turkey brining right next to me. Today's video is sponsored by Otterbox. They sent me some coolers. I already used them on, on my channel and they work good and where we've got a, uh, a different way of using a cooler that we're utilizing today. And it involves turkey. This is the week of turkey. Let's just get this out of the way. Do you think uh, Amy is safe around Miss B? I think Miss B kind of doesn't really care much about her anymore. She still wants me. Like every time that I'm around, B just wants to go after There's me. something about you. Not really safe at this point, but we're working on it. Go ahead and tell y'all right now. My plan for this week, I had in mind. I was going to go out. I was going to harvest a wild turkey. That's right. The ones you see running around all together in the woods. They're like, ee, 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 ee. those, those kind. And they're not white like Miss B, surprisingly. They look like they belong in the trees, in the bark. Get that turkey. Where is that turkey? Where's that turkey at? In that cooler. <laughs> but anyways, I went after these turkeys and I tried to stalk the turkeys, but when there's like 20 and 30 of them together, y'all, it is so incredibly hard. It didn't exactly work out. I got close, so I ended up doing what most Americans do. I went to the store and I bought a butterball turkey. That turkey is unthawed. I'm over here at LFD's house right now with mom. So she is going to show you how to make this special brine for this turkey. But let me tell y'all about the otter box that we're putting it in. This is a backpack cooler. It is designed to be super portable and be super rough with. If you're an outdoors man or woman that loves to just travel around with your, your drinks, your snacks, and you want to tote home some leftovers, this is good. That's right, Miss B. We're going on a turkey hunt. <laughs> we're going on a turkey hunt again. Yes, we're getting after those turkeys. Don't worry, y'all. This is typical bulldog behavior. <laughs> Growing up with my whole life. Easy, easy. There you go. This is what happens when B gets a little too excited. She's a little hard to calm down. He's grabbed on. She's... The Trooper LT30, it's leak proof, super durable. If you're hard on your stuff like me, it's a good cooler to have. Best thing about this one is there's no zippers. You know, sometimes you, you want to get into those coolers and you got to like, like clutch it like this and like yeah, wrench it open. This one is just a latch, so it's really easy very convenient, especially if you have soft, sensitive hands, like I don't. Is this what it was like to be pregnant? Uh, that's kind of what it's like right now. <laughs> Probably like try this out more so I can feel your pain. I think we all know that Otterbox makes really good stuff, y'all. So right now, if you do want to get one of these trooper coolers, you're gonna get a 64 ounce elevation growler, which is like a big old thermos to keep your drinks hot or cold. Just go to otterbox.com. I put a link in the top of the description for you guys. So let's go check in with mom. I know she's kind of got the kitchen ready. So if you guys want to learn how to brine your poultry, you don't have to do it on Thanksgiving. You can do it any time of the year. It makes it super delicious and good. Let's go check in with mom. Hi. How are we doing? We're good. You are ready for YouTube, mom. Look at these ingredients all set out. Now, is this what the brine is going to be? I've never made a brine. Well, brines are good. They're salty. I have a lot of seasonings in them, and it just soaks into the turkey. So it gives the turkey, when you cook it, flavor all the way through. It's really good. We're going to make the brine. Like I said before, the brine helps to make the turkey nice and moist. But what we're going to do is put it in the otter box. Mom! <laughs> Mom with a sponsor plug right there. Drop it in on them. I already had fish over here. I brought over some fish for her because fish is her favorite. LFD is home! It's good, y'all. We got the whole family here. It's gonna be a family brining process. We need to come up with a good name for LFD's crib, you know, because we got the tree house here. This is like the tree farm. I got all kinds of trees. Y'all let me know in the comments. I've done a lot of videos here. Ready to brine a turkey. Are you back in from the woods? I'm back in from the woods, man. I ended up having to buy a butterball, if that tells you anything, so. <laughs> This is what we're doing in our brine. We need a cup of uh, kosher salt, three quarters of a cup of sugar, two lemons, rosemary sprigs and thyme, some black peppercorns here. And we're gonna put that in a quart of boiling water. And we're gonna take our sprigs, our lemon zest, which 
That's wonderful flavor. Mmm. Garlic in that. Gotta have sugar. Very, Very fragrant. Good. Smells like Thanksgiving. You know I like to smell things. Yes. Yeah. Smell it so the flavors will come together. Oh, wow. We want to get the salt and the sugar. You want that to dissolve. Totally and become a monogamous mixture. Yes. Or homogenous. What's that word? Let us know really in the comments. Science class. Eighth grade, it's kind of, it's coming back a little bit. This is, doesn't seem like very much juice. It's a quart right. of hot water. It's actually boiling water. Okay, and then how are we gonna make that a lot of juice? Gonna, I want big juice. Well, that's where you put I used to say that when I was a kid, by the way. We're I gonna put, juice. I know, you always want a big juice. Not big little, juice, mama. Not little juice, but big juice. We're gonna take this hot brine, we're gonna put it in your otter box with the turkey, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna put in lots of cold water, which mm. will cool this down. There is a 16 pound turkey here at the bottom in a bunch of juices. There's a bolt. Did someone shoot at a hog last night? Our neighbors, um, we're all on hog patrol in uh, my neighborhood and LFD's neighborhood because they come in and tear up the yards, but looks like somebody just lost a bolt, got a little out of control. It happens sometimes. Shoot responsibly. We are here this morning to check on the brine turkey process. It's the Super Bowl of cooking today. That's right, Thanksgiving day. LFD got up at what time? Five? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. I was not quite eager enough to get here at 5 a.m. I told him, go ahead, take it out of the brine, put it on the uh, egg. And this turkey sat in the cooler all night. So, wow, that water really turned brown. All those, uh, all those little seasonings just percolating into the water. Can we get a check on Let's the go. turkey? Yeah, I guess a we peak? Can. Uh, is that gonna screw it up? Uh, no, we're good. Cool. Smoking. What do you got at 300? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it down. Now we got a little tear right there. Yeah, that was uh, my big hand. So I had to stuff some butter under the skin, and uh, it, so uh, little little game time error in the first quarter. Hands what too you're saying? hands too big. That is the turkey update, y'all. That's gonna be delicious. And I'm sure the brine worked out good. We're gonna gather the fam. We're gonna sit in front of this beautiful turkey this afternoon, and we're going to eat it up. So we'll check in with y'all then. Little pooter, what are you in here talking about? Oh, I almost heard a laugh right there. Trying to talk and laugh. Probably one of the cutest things ever. I love you too. Okay. We're waiting on the turkey. Waiting on Brussels sprouts. I'm waiting on pies. You're always so waiting on pies. Absolutely, just crush food today. That's what you do on Thanksgiving. But I thought it'd be fun for us to do a little segment here. Things are in our yard all the time. And I'm always going out there and I'm checking the cameras. I'm like looking out there at night. What's out there? What's stirring? So I catch all these creatures on our camera and I usually report it to Stephanie yep. the next day. That's the next like one morning. of the first things after I drink my coffee. I come up and like, there was something in the yard last night. You want to check it out? <laughs> so we're going to play a little game here of what is in our backyard. If you hear something swinging, rocking in the background, that is Emmy. <laughs> She's in her rocker. This is a rare moment She's today. Asleep. She's asleep right now. Play it cool. Don't be too loud, okay? So here's the rules of the game. You have to guess the animal and the time. It can be anywhere within that hour. Okay. It could be hogs, squirrels, uh, coyotes, whoever gets the most points does not have to change diapers the rest of the day. Ooh, I like that idea. All right, so. All right, SD card has been pulled. You haven't looked at this yet, have you? I have not looked at this. I wanted to badly. Very much badly. Let's do three guesses okay. for this round. Okay. If we make this a standalone video, let mm -hmm. us know in the comments. If you like this, we'll just go ham. Anything goes. Okay, Fox at 6 p.m. Uh, Buck, 4.30. No, buck at 5.30. What? <laughs> buck at 5.30. A back, you on that one. coyote at 11 p.m. Woo! Those are really good guesses. Thank you. You have been listening to what I'm saying. That. I do listen to you every once in a while. Thank you, honey. Okay, I'm gonna go with Mr. Fox. 
Mr. Fox at, at five. So anywhere from five, five to, to six. six. Okay. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are ready. Okay, go ahead. I'll tell I'll tell them the rest of my guesses. Brussels sprouts. I'm, I'm having a toss up between a raccoon and a possum right here. Raccoon at seven. Coyote anywhere between, okay, I'm gonna go 10 to 11. Oh. Well, what is that? That's a fox. Are you sure? It looks kinda like a coyote. That is not. That <laughs> is a fox. And at five. 528. 528, all right. Woo! One point right there, baby! Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. There is a fox. Uh, I get it, I get a point too. Came back. 614. Oh, what is it? Deer! At There's a deer. 8.30 in the morning? Well, we both lose on that one. Here we have a fox. At 614. Does that give me another point? I, I don't know. Let us know if I should get two points. Let's block that off for now. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. What is that? That kind of looks like a raccoon. That is a raccoon. What did I say on raccoon? Uh. Oh, well, I didn't get that time right anyway. Sun's just starting to come up. What is in our yard? What do we have? What do we have right here? I'm gonna say fox because of the blackness yeah. right there. What is that? Whoa, we got a ghost. What is that? That's weird. That's a mystery animal. Oh, Whoa. what is that? That's a coyote. 12.04 a.m. So you missed it by four minutes. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be tied at one, which I think defaults to you changing diapers. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll let the audience decide. OSG made some good picks, but let us know in the comments, y'all. But uh, we're tied. And it is Let's... time to go check on this turkey. This brined, this bag brined turkey. Let's grab the pie, Brussels sprouts, and our little girl. Let's head over. Hey! Hey, yo! Yeah. Look at us. Look at y'all. We got loafers. We got blue jeans. Blue, blue jeans. There's me. Am I messing with me? Right here. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Look at the beautifulness. Oh, my mouth is watering. It's Dad, what happened on this back side though? Golden perfection. There, some testing. Oh. A little, little test round <laughs> here? What's going on that. here? Like... Everything looks great. The real test is seeing if it's juicy in the middle. That's why you brought in turkeys, right? Without further ado, let's lay out the spread and let's get to eating. Is something is happening in there. We know what that means. This is no, your did, we did not decide on that. I think we did, because I got three points and you only got one. Sweet victory is I mine was, today. Was, just like I changed the first 400 diapers because- Oh, bologna. You Cheese and bologna right there. <laughs> it is time to test y'all. I want to see if I can taste all the herbs, if the brining is worth it. I taste the lemon. I'm going to need another piece. I can taste it all now. You taste rosemary. Hang on now, slow down. The other herbs and the smokiness. Dad got the grill kind of hot and he went a little a little hard in the first quarter there. He did admit it, so. But the reason why we do an early dinner is so we can go back for seconds. There we That's go. The real reason. The brine saved it. So if you guys want to brine your own chickens, turkeys, poultry, doesn't have to be Thanksgiving, make your own recipe too. I mean, you can experiment, try it up, but it does keep it juicy and it's kind of a, uh, a lifesaver if you do overcook mm. your meat. We are gonna go enjoy our delicious Thanksgiving dinner, y'all, with mm. all the helpings, servings, what do you call them? Sides? Sides? Things? Favorite? Flavor? So much. I don't even know. There are a lot of blessings to be had, a lot of blessings to be thankful for, and you are one of them, Amy. Yeah. We're thankful for all you guys and uh, and your time watching all of our videos. We love y'all. And thanks to Otterbox for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check them out, uh, there's a link at the top of the description. Until the next time we see you back in the treehouse, we hope you're having a very blessed day, Emmy. We hope you're having a very blessed day, too. You want to send it up, yeah. Emmy? We love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving wherever you are, and we'll see you right back here. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notifications. Hit the notifications. And we'll see you on the next one. Later. Mm -hmm.